Hello, my darlings. It's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I'm hoping that this microphone works a little bit better. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, but this is a totally different setup. I, I promise you, I read your comments. I listen to the constructive criticism you guys give me. And you guys want to see more of the looks that I purchased from the thrift stores. You want to see them full length and stretched out. You want to see what I see when I look at these items. And so right now, we're in a different corner of my office. You guys have asked me about storage, and um, a few of you have asked me about storage and where I store my eBay finds. And so this is what I do. It's a little bit messy right now because I've just been in and out. Um, but this is where I store a lot of my box items and my eBay items. I actually have another one of these on the other side of my um, office, and I have a few tubs. But this is easy for me. This is just where I kind of go in and pull the items. I don't have them listed or labeled or anything like that. Um, because honestly, I don't feel like I have that much that needs to be like labeled and listed. Um, but yeah, so this is where I store my stuff. And so what I've decided to do today is go through and show you my thrift finds right off of the racks, okay? Um, so let me tell you where I shop. So last Friday, I went to Salvation Army off of Clybourne. Um, and for those of you that are outside of Chicago, on Saturdays, of course, as you guys have watched, we have 69 cent Saturdays. But on Friday, after 6 p.m., all of that tag that's going to be 69 cents on Saturday, all of that tag is 75 off. And of course, the week prior, everything's 50 off. So it goes 50 off, 75 off Friday from 6 to close, and then Saturday, 69 cents, right? So I said, you know what, let me go in and check out what... Um, what it looks like on a Friday evening to see if maybe that um, could be a good time to shop because Saturday morning, it's, I'm not going to say it's really, really busy, but it is busy. And so I went on Friday evening around 5, 5.30, and it was relatively busy. But over the intercom, um, over the speaker system, they said, oh, we have a manager special. All sweaters are 50 off. Um, all long sleeve flannels are 50 off. And we also have a bin in the front of the store where everything is $1.99. So, you know, I pushed baby girl over to them bins and went crazy. And so if you saw, um, if you watch, if you follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean, then you saw me going through these bins. It was, um, it wasn't a lot of bins. It was like two or three bins of just clothing. And, you know, I'm thinking maybe it's like ripped up clothing, nothing like that. It was good clothing. So here are the dresses that I found. And I'm focusing on dresses. This is going to be on Poshmark for the most part. I'm focusing on dresses because of the holiday season and holiday parties and cocktail parties and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. These were all $1.99 each. And so for me on Poshmark, I think, you know, the $10, to $15, $17, um, $10, to $15, um, Pricing point is good for me, um, especially with the brands that are represented here. So some I may go up to 20 and 25, I'm not sure. But let's go into looking at the item. So here is a romper. And I actually have another romper that I was taking pictures of. It's in baby girl's room. But um, here is a romper. This is Express. And it was originally, or in the store, it was $8.99. Okay. So, oh, Lord, I'm losing myself. And so here's the romper. Beautiful. I love this detail right here. I feel like a romper with a shawl will always be good for the fall or for the holiday season. This dress is Jessica Simpson and it was $8.99. This crochet dress actually reminds me a lot of Alaya. That's A-L-A-I-A. -A -I -A. Um, of course, Alaya does not is not crochet, but the style of the dress. It's definitely a lie bound, and this was $8.99, and it's medium. And so this will really look good on a mannequin. I'm really loving that. So the next one, the next dress is really a New Year's Eve outfit, okay? And so I don't know if there's any way to kind of display it. Let me hold it up like this. This is a BB dress. And so this I may sell for a little bit more. Like I said, I'm still figuring out Poshmark pricing, but yeah. So there we go there. Oh, my camera went out. You see me? Okay. Um, all right. 
So this one was actually <laughs> at the bottom of the bottom. This is Diane von Furstenberg. I've actually taken off. Oh, no, it's right here. So this was, they priced this at $8.99 in the stores. You see that? But it was $1.99. And it's just a simple wrap dress. And this one is actually posted on Poshmark on my mannequin. So wrap dress here. This dress, I feel like, is so beautiful. And I just don't think you can see how gorgeous it is. I don't think it translates. But if you can look at the detail, the lace detail. And I don't know who made the, oh. So who made this dress? This is Elise Ryan. And this was priced at $14.99. But in the bins, it was $1.99. So this is just spectacular, darling. This is a J. Crew dress. Paisley J. Crew. Oh, these tags, honey. So this is a size 10 J. Crew dress. I love purple and red together. Um, of course, because of the color wheel. They are complement not complimentary, they're split complimentary. So there's that. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't get to see. So it's a tube dress. It has the boning in the front. And who cannot see themselves wearing something like this at the holiday party? right has the pockets down here and i'm like for 199 java <laughs> i want to call up all my skinny friends and tell them to come on down to salvation army this oh this club monaco dress yes god you see the piping on the side and so this reminded me a lot of victoria beckham because this is something that i feel like she would wear and she would create just a simple tube dress I think it has, yeah, it has pockets on the side. And so you can kind of see yourself walking in with the pockets on the side. Oh, focus, pockets on the side and a stiletto heel. This was $12.99. See that? So that was $12.99, but once again, it was $1.99. And then I really tried to focus on items that um, had price tags. There were a lot. I've actually sold, I apologize, actually sold a few already that were on Poshmark um, that had the tags attached. But this H&M dress was $9.99, $9.95, In the thrift store, it was $6.99, but I got it for $1.99. And so it's just a simple tube dress. And so you're thinking, it's not summer, Dion. How can people be wearing tube dresses? Why are you buying tube dresses? So no, it's not summer in Chicago, but a lot of people are traveling for the holidays and cruise season is coming up. And so a lot of people are cruising. A lot of people are going to places that are warm. Um, South Florida is warm. Puerto Rico is warm. Guam is warm. And they're all areas that are serviced by Poshmark. So I will sell warm clothes. Um, Yes, I'm just going to sell warm clothes because all parts of the world are not, or the country are not um, cold. So that being said, we have the next dress. This is Banana Republic and it was $12.99. And this is just a simple, I don't even know what the material is, um, but it's a simple sheath dress that, you know, can be kept for the summer or you can layer this and um, put a cardigan over it, can wear a turtleneck with it put some tights on with it and you are good to go, okay? So then the next one, let's see, make sure my camera doesn't go out of me. All right, so the next one, this is a Calvin Klein dress and this is a, a six. Um, I just, reminds me of like schoolgirl. And so the way that I saw this, the way that I pictured this, it actually has a belt, but you could totally just wear this around the neck with a cardigan and some black and pink tights and you're good to go, right? So this can, this is definitely something that can be warmed up. Once again, turtleneck, you can put a cardigan over it. Um, the tights, because it's gray and because of the pleating, it's a lot heavier. So it does feel like fall, okay? So stick with me, we have three more dresses to go. So this dress again is from, not again, this is another party dress. Um, and I really, really love the detail on the front of this dress. has the bow detail. This is such like a New Year's short dress, party dress. And this was $4.99 and then $1.99. This is a 
This is an 11Z's dress. Anthropology does so well. For those of you that are on Poshmark, you should be studying all the anthropology brands because they, they've been doing so well for me. So this, again, is a tube dress, has the boning in the top. And this really is something that you would reserve for spring or summer. But once again, if you're going on a cruise or if you're going somewhere that's warm during the winter season, this is something that you can wear to dinner with, you know, like a pashmina around your, around your shoulder and you're good to go. I took the price tag off, so I don't know how, that, how much that was. Last but not least, Lily Pulitzer. This was $1.99 in the bin. Yes, honey. Lily Pulitzer, $1.99 in those bins. And, oh, sorry, I have some fluff. And, I mean, it speaks for itself. <laughs> this is definitely cruise-worthy. It has a little opening in the back. has alligators in the front. Can you see that? Let me see. Can you see the alligators? Isn't that cool? So, yeah. So, that was the dress portion. I have some shorts that I want to show you. So, I'm going to sit back in my chair and get comfortable and go over the shorts. Oh, one thing I want to say. Because I know you're going to be like, Dion, why are they all sixes and eights and tens or whatever? That's what was in the bins. And so what I'm going to say about that is that with plus size clothing, because it go, I, this is my theory. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Because plus size clothing goes so quickly in the thrift stores, so 12, 14, 16, 18s, I don't think there's a lot of leftovers to go into the bins. And so the smaller sizes, because there's just more of them. More of them get put on sale. Um, yeah, I really think that that's what it is, especially with Salvation Army. When I go to Family Thrift, I see more, you know, 14s, 16s, 18s. But at this location, there are just not a lot of uh, plus size clothing to begin with. And the items that I do see go quickly. Like I'll see it one week and be like, oh, I'll wait till it's 50 off. And by the time I wait, it's gone. And so um, I just don't think there's a lot to choose from. But Nevertheless, let's now look at shorts. All right, so I'm comfortable. Let's get back to the video. Let's do some shorts. So why are you doing shorts, Dion? It is winter. Well, like I just said, it's not winter everywhere. There are some parts of the world, uh, or country rather, because Poshmark is a U.S. app, um, that are warm and people are going on vacation. I know that my family will all be in Jamaica this holiday season turning up. And so I always think about them and where they're shopping and what they're doing. So, so shorts, these are true religion shorts. And I took the price off because I already posted these, but these are true religion shorts. They're cut off shorts and they were $1.99. Like I said, I was focusing on items with tags. And so I got these Calvin Klein um, skinny crop pants. You can go back to that. Some skinny top print pants, never worn, tags attached. As you can see, has a little attached label there. Um, I took this off because I put these online too. So those are one ninety nine. Um, these are some J Crew shorts. These were five, no Zara shorts. These were five ninety nine, and all of these are just really really short. <laughs> So these were $1.99 as well. Um, and so, yes, because, you know, people are traveling. And so you can buy shorts. If they're for $1.99, if it doesn't sell now, I'll just hold it until the spring, summer, or just keep them up there. There's no penalty for keeping items up there. Just keep them listed and they'll sell when they when they sell, right? These were $6.99, White House Black Market. I actually like these. I like the button detail in the front. Yeah, I like these buttons. I think they're cool. And then we have some Athleta, which is the Gap Company Athleta, right? Um, these were a size 16. So these are, these are Bermuda shorts. And they're swim material. So this is definitely something that, you know, will we'll sell now as people go on vacation. I like the little detail here. Pretty, pretty. And then these were also, these are very small. These are loft, but they have the tags attached and anything with a tag attached is good for me. So tag attached, little shorts, perfect for the holiday, for going on holiday. Some more booty shorts. These are J brand. <laughs> and I don't remember what price these were, but these were $1.99. This is what I would be wearing if I was going to Jamaica <laughs> with my parents. 
I would be all up and down in the streets with that on. So these are J. Crew once again, tag attached, and these were $46.50. But of course, for me, they were $199. And then I ventured into men's. So I got some Jack Spade. Jack Spade, of course, is the male version of Kate Spade. And so I got these. These were $4.99, but they were $199 for me. See that? Jack Spade. And so I ventured into men's because I said, you know what? Their men's section on Poshmark is growing. And, you know, they keep talking about men's is growing, men's is growing, men's is growing. Well, if men's is growing, then I need to be in that market. Yes and amen? <laughs> All right. So there you go. Just wanted to show you what I found. Once again, this was like not expected. I really just went to check out, you know, if Friday was as busy as Saturday or just what it looked like on a Friday. And when they came on the big big speaker, it was just like 199 bins. I was like, <laughs> and it was funny because there was only like two or three of us in the bins and we were looking around like everybody's over there, but don't they want to come and dig here? I was like, everybody's not for the dig. I'm from the dig. So you give me a bin in a corner and I'm good. So, all right. Love you. We never pay me to, oh, my lipstick today. This is Sephora. So, and it's one of the Sephora Rouge mattes, and it's an M14. And so this is very much like Ruby Woo. It reminds me of Ruby Woo, except for the fact that Ruby Woo is a little harder. This is very, very soft, and it stays matte. Sephora, when it comes to lipsticks, like I always wear the um, the matte lip stain in 01, and this Sephora lipsticks are one, one of the best lipsticks. And of course, because they're owned by... LVMH, which owns a lot of beauty brands. So why would they release anything that's subpar, right? All right. Well, there you go. There's my lipstick. Love you. We never pay retail. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye.